Browns are back in Berea for now, Mary Kay. Uh, we'll get to that. Let's talk about the quarterbacks first. Deshaun Kaiser is named the starting quarterback. Hugh Jackson named him today. Uh, you reported he would do that yesterday. So, um, you know, to me, this is the right decision. You have to let the kid play. You have to live with the mistakes. We'll see if he can live with the mistakes during the game Sunday, but at least for now, Deshaun Kaiser is playing. Well, you know, they still have to find out if Deshaun Kaiser can be their quarterback of the future. There's only one way you're going to find that out, and that is to keep playing him and to see if he can keep getting better and better. And he did show tremendous growth in this past game until he threw the two interceptions. The thing, the reason why Hugh keeps yanking him is because he sees opportunities to win a football game. And, you know, he promised us he's not jumping in the lake this year so he's got to win some football games you know that's why you're seeing him get yanked out of there even when they're only down by three points because he sees an opportunity to win a football game but leading up to that he was 9 of 11 for 67 yards and a 92.0 rating uh, he showed better touch on the short passes uh, you know he was making pretty good reads up until the end where he way overthrew Richard Higgins on that interception so uh, you know I, I definitely think it's the right decision you have to keep going back to Deshaun to see what you have uh, now, some bad news today. Miles Garrett in the concussion protocol. He reported to the facility here on Tuesday with concussion-like symptoms. He's now in the protocol, and as of us taping this right now, it's unknown if he'll even travel to London this week. Yeah, I mean, I doubt he'll he'll go. I mean, I, I, I don't see it happening unless by tomorrow he feels way, way better and that they think there's a chance that he can play or they feel like, you know, he's he's well enough to just go and kind of enjoy the trip and be part, you know, be part of the team. But at this point, when you're diagnosed with a concussion on Tuesday, it's highly unlikely that you're going to play in a game on Sunday. That's incredibly unfortunate. He leads the team with four sacks. Uh, as you wrote, Taylor Lewan did a pretty nice job against him, uh, but he did get his fourth sack in that game in three games. And honestly, he was getting better against Taylor Lewan as that game was going on. You started to see get more push, and the Titans were double teaming him late in that game, so he was getting much better as the game went on. Last thing, the Browns going to London. They will travel on Thursday overnight, get off the plane on Friday, go to practice. A lot of talk today about keeping that schedule, keeping that regularity, but it's going to be tough, at least initially. Yeah, and you know, I'm actually leaving for London today, <laughs> so uh, look all over Cleveland.com for whatever we can come up with from London. Uh, I will be there with as much coverage as I can provide, and our friend Gordon that we just talked to yep. on, the, on the phone today will be uh, giving sort of a fan's view uh, uh, from Browns backers and those sorts of things. So uh, yes, they're going across the pond, uh, going to practice on Friday. I will be there for that and for the game on Sunday, and uh, we'll just have to see how this goes against the Vikings. And of course, we'll have full coverage of everything in London from Mary Kay, from Gordon at cleveland.com slash Browns.